people, 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 see what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the meds. Call it news with a buzz. There's a video that is circulating over social media. In this video, apparently, the specialized squad, the SWAT team, the boys in a blue, them buck up on a man, a suspect. When them buck up on the man, them realize uh, this man is a G-U-N-M-A-N. This man have some sorts of hard toll. However, this man is bawling and begging for life and claiming that them a try plant G-U-N pan him. Him a going like a parrot in a some sort of courthouse. People, he knew exactly what was about to take place. However, the fact that this video is out there, that means that he was lucky. The poor poor kind of made some sorts of error and spared his life. Don't know what was the reason. I am going to let you take a listen, take a look to the audio or the edited version of the video and then I am going to give my piece. Now people, you hear the man. Obviously, he knows the poor poor that was there. You know that the poor poor force of some people where people know say listen, you see when them poor poor you come for you. A serious thing, you're in a very bad predicament. More than likely, you will not live to tell the tale. So therefore, this man was begging for his life. He was on his knees, his bending knees. He must say, me no do nothing. Me no have no toll. While the toll, more than likely, was there all along. The fact that this man know the poor poor, that means uh, the poor poor probably knows him. That means uh, it was written in stone like the Ten Commandments. Listen, wherever you see this man, it is D-E-A-T-H on arrival. When you see him, don't make nobody see him anymore. Elimination pan spots. Inevitable. D-E-A-T-H. However, people, it seems as if the poor poor made an error. When they should have eliminated this man, them spear him, don't know if it is because residents were there and residents were videotaping. However, people, I am going to give you some facts and this is based on conversations that I've had with poor poor, not going to say which division. A lot of times, these producers of crime They've been doing stuff for years and decades. Them catch them, them carry them go to court because of fear people don't show up. Because of some sorts of prosecutorial misconduct or some sorts of poor poor error in their testimony. These people always seem to avoid getting the conviction that they truly deserve. So therefore, them not really wild them, they give them rope to pretty much hang themselves and people. In this case, is what this man did once again. You hear the man of Allah, Lord, me no do nothing, una try free me, me a beg uno, M-U-R-D-E-R, ima Allah, ima ball. While all along, this man knows that he is a starch, stone cold criminal. However, most liars, most criminals, most thieves, they are also psychopaths. So therefore, whenever them get caught in a, any sorts of predicament, they try to use reverse psychology. Them try to blame everybody else but themselves. And people, I have put several videos in my WhatsApp group on YouTube wherein 
even when them catch these criminals with their hands in the cookie jar, catch them in the crime. Them always I say anime as if them and the poor poor never did it. As if they weren't the ones that were blazing up all sorts of corn off of the poor poor. And then when the poor poor them catch them, them are beg for them life. I recently posted a video maybe about a couple of months ago in which some people try to rob some sorts of sergeant, some sorts of inspector in an old arbor. And then him security or him bodyguard them see and blaze up the man. One of the man was on the ground while he was conned up and he was claiming that I know him as somebody stick him up and give him the toll and tell him to go do this or do that. So therefore he was moving or he was acting under the rest. People, I am going to say it and I am going to tell you the conversations that I have with people in the law enforcement in the serious part of the JCF. Me tell them, listen, you see the people them will get up and go to church every day whenever you are going on any sorts of mission. Don't carry them because them are going to beg and them are going to buy out. And whenever you beg and you buy out and you give these people an opportunity as soon as them get a chance because they don't have any sorts of skill, they are not gainfully employed, they are going to resort to the same old, same old thing. So when you get an opportunity and you know say more than likely when you hold these people even though with the new firearm act it is 15 years mandatory so therefore that is a decent time. But when you calculate when you add up all of the F-U-C-K-R-Y that these persons have been doing in the neighborhood the amount of people where them traumatized the amount of robbery the amount of people that they've caused or been around or even responsible for losing their life people that deserve an opportunity a second chance they should get it however there are some people that are beyond beyond rehabilitation beyond living the faster that you can eliminate them off the face of the earth, that is the best thing for you to do. Because these persons, they are full of psychs, they are full of craft. Them always try to beg and buy out. So therefore, when them are beg for chance, the only thing that you should do is bust them like a balloon. Point blank and period. Because the truth and the fact is that... In most cases, they are not giving their victims a second chance. When them go for thief, when them go for corner people, when them go for take what people life, these same people are begging and bawling and hollering. What do they do? They do what the poor poor should have done. No mercy for the merciless. I have spoken to several victims of all sorts of crime and even the ones that did not lose their life. They are traumatized for life. So therefore they are scarred emotionally and physically. The people that did not make it, their family members, their loved ones, their co-workers will have to pick up the pieces. So therefore, if innocent people are losing them life, was it the gunman and the guilty, the criminals, the crime producers? Point blank and Period. Further on in the news, it seems as if Mr. Not So Lucky got what was coming to him. It seems as if Spot a Lion trail Mr. Not So Lucky in a some sorts of bus. However, they did not want to take him out on the spot, so therefore they waited until the opportune moment. As soon as he got on the bus, them drive behind the bus very patiently. They waited until he exited the bus. He so happened to exit the bus at Twittenham Park, Spanish Town in front of Progressive Food and Petrol Station. People at approximately 6.30 them bend him over, them skin him out. No source of space between where the tools that was fired and his head. They pretty much did him some sorts of brain surgery. All of the morrow exited that same crown. People like me say, me no know what him do. However, he was obviously marked for D-E-A-T-H. The 
The persons that took him out were obviously people that are familiar with him. Familiar where he moves from, where he goes to. Don't know if there's some sorts of disagreement. Well, obviously, they thought that he did something wrong. And they thought that the wages of sin is D-E-A-T-H. So therefore, people, moral of the story is this. Whenever you are mixed up, whenever you are entangled in any sorts of dirty bungle, if you live by the gun, you are going to surely D-I-E by it. It is as simple as that. Sooner or later, every dog has its day. Karma will always find you when you least expect it. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. Bless up.